So, you know that they approved a new stimulus package two weeks ago for $908 billion to help stimulate the economy. In this video, I will show you what to do with your money either from the $600 stimulus check or the extended unemployment benefits. So, you come up this 2021, you and me, better financially and with more money in your pockets. Hi there, this is Jaime Shekaiben. Welcome to your channel, The Foreigner in America, where I teach locals and foreigners what to do with their money, savings, budgeting, investing, and everything that has to do with their pockets. If you're someone interested in this and you enjoy this kind of videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any one of them. So, as you know, there was a deal announced about two weeks ago when the government got into an agreement and both chambers released an economic stimulus package for $908 billion dollars to help the economy. The problem here is that we were hoping to get the $1,200 stimulus check payment and that is not in the plan. Why is this? Well, the lawmakers thought that there was no need to give that amount of money to people that already had an income in the first place, either through a job or through a side business. So instead of giving away $1,200 for a single person and $2,400 for a married couple, in a $500 child credit like they did the first time, now they proposed the extended unemployment benefits of $300 per week for the next 11 weeks starting this year. Food assistance, student loan forbearance, as well as funding for small businesses, schools, and very important for the vaccine to be free for every single American. And as you know, the $600 stimulus check per person, per adult, and for every child under the age of 16. According to Yona Marinescu, which is a assistant professor of economics at the University of Pennsylvania, we need to give a stimulus check or payment to people to improve the economy and make small businesses have people spend money on them which I agree. And also very important, a lot of people either lost their jobs or got a job that paid less or got downsized by any kind. So it's important that the government is giving you this money right now. But don't get me wrong, the $300 a week stimulus check it's actually a lot of money. We were getting between $1,500 and $1,800 a month already in unemployment. Now it's going to go to $3,000 a month, more or less. So if someone is making $3,000 a month for not working, how are you going to encourage this person to come out and look for another job? That's my question. So is it easier to just stay at home and watch TV and chill and get your unemployment? Or how is the government going to incentivize people to go out and land another job? That is my question. So if you can answer, please comment below. But I understand what they're doing. I mean, if the vaccine is going to be available for every single American by the end of Q1, probably mid-March, end of March, then it's by that time frame that they're going to cut the benefits and they're going to make people start going out and getting a new job. I totally get it. The only thing missing here is an incentive to get back to work. You need to give people an incentive so if they land a job, they should get compensated or they should get any kind of bonus and they should not wait until April to do that. They should do it now so they can start moving the economy. And I believe this combination of unemployment benefits, the second stimulus and an incentive to go back to work all together that's what's going to make the economy go out of the recession. It took 10 years to get out of the Great Recession. How long will it take to, take to get out of this one? So this is what you need to do now with your $600 stimulus check or your extended unemployment benefits. Number one, start an emergency savings account. I've repeated this a million times and it's probably boring, but it's very important that you invest in your security. So why do you take a home insurance? 
because it's in case something happens to your home. A car insurance because in case something happens to your car. The same way you have to insure your income. So if you lose your job, if you lose your business, whatever you lose, you have that savings account of at least three months worth of uh, living expenses. So you can take money from there in the meantime that you put your life in order and you get back on track. Very important. Number two, secure your housing expenses. I don't know how long the eviction moratorium is going to last. They're saying by the end of January, it, it can be uh, throughout the entire year if you want. But whenever they start allowing evictions, they're going to start kicking people out to the streets. So secure your housing, your rent or your mortgage money. If you have extra money now, put it towards your housing expenses. Very important. Number three, invest in your 401k and IRA accounts. I know if you lose your job, you, you stop putting money into those accounts, but you shouldn't. Those accounts are your retirement accounts. They're going to make you happier when you're over 60. So if you get extra money now that you're not using, put some into your 401k and your IRA pre-tax. So that money that you put into your, those accounts could be deducted from your next taxes. Number four get your basic necessities in bulk this is a very simple one but if you go to places like costco or sam's you can go and buy things that you need in bulk save some money and have them stored in your house so in case your income goes down in case you lose some money you have a lot of things already in place bought and ready for your family to use so that's important and it's very simple advice. And number five is invest in financial education. I'm not telling you to go out and spend $5,000 on a training because that's not feasible right now. But a book might cost you a dollar or $5 to e-download uh, it from the internet. Or you can, take, you can watch YouTube videos for free. You can uh, watch seminars sometimes for free. Invest in education that will help you make money for the future high income skills it's very important not a hundred percent of time in your job invest in yourself first now let me give you the foreigner insight for this video very interesting if you're a foreigner in this country with a social security number then you're eligible for this stimulus package if you don't have a social security number unfortunately you're not gonna get anything again what i totally recommend you to do as a foreigner is the same as the locals get an emergency savings of fund because you need an insurance in case something goes wrong the worst case scenario is that you lose your money your job or your income you always have that emergency savings fund of three to six months of living expenses so let's you and me begin this 2021 financially and stable and let's make 2021 you and me better both physically emotionally but most important financially and put more money in our pockets with the advice of this good channel and many others so thank you very much if you like my video please give me a like subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't lose any one of my videos and make sure you check out my book and my sales training on the link below. Until then, see you next time.